If you have already created your GPT assistance in OpenAI, then you might question that, how can I leverage and orchestrate all these GPT assistants in a multi-agent framework like Autogen? Well, the good news is, now Autogen is integrated with GPT assistants in OpenAI. Then, let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. Now, OpenAI assistants are integrated with Autogen. So let's see what's the benefit of that and what they're exactly talking about. Well, let's just start with what is OpenAI assistant or GPT assistants. If you have checked GPT store or GPT assistants and OpenAI, it's all about defining an agent or an assistant on, on GPT-based oriented solution that does a specific task or workflow for you, okay? And on Azure recently, we have also Azure OpenAI assistant uh, introduced there. But now the question is, with OpenAI assistants, I can do a lot of things, but I want to orchestrate them on a multi-agent framework like Autogen. That's why Autogen is now integrated with OpenAI assistants. So what's the benefit here? The benefit here is you can now orchestrate and sort of tailor all these GPT assistants within Autogen. And in Autogen, you might have already created different type of agent that do different things. So if you don't know what is Autogen, I think you must to know what is Autogen before watching this video. I have added my videos of Autogen in the, in the video description below. At least watch the part one that talks about what is Autogen then it will make much more sense for you what's the benefit of autogen integrated with gpt assistance so assuming that you know what is autogen long story short autogen is an open source library developed by microsoft for multi-agent framework that you can define your different agent that does different tasks for you beyond just an llm chat generate test you can have agent that do tasks for you for example one agent type a code for you, one agent execute a code for you, one agent debug the code for you, so you can have an end-to-end -end AI software developer by multiple agents defined in Autogen. So going back to GPT assistance, here is, for example, my Azure OpenAI. And again, assistance is still in preview on Azure OpenAI uh, for the time that I'm recording this video. And when you click on it, you can create a new assistant. First of all, you have to say, what is the model that this assistant going to use? GPT-40, this is a new one. Give it a name. I call it, let's say, test. You have to define instruction, what you're expecting this agent to do. And here are three main different uh, capabilities that this assistant can do. They can call a function. For example, if I click on add function, here's an example of whenever in your chat, what the user asks for a better information, this should call a better API, right? That's how you define a function, and it can trigger that function based on the output of the LLM, OK? Now, code interpreter. If I enable this, it will enable a Python server on backend. So whenever I ask a question from my LLM that needs a Python code to be executed, it will run it, not just letting LLM answer. It will run a code. Or if you want to add some files to chat with your files or analy analyze your files, run some statistical analysis on them, do whatever you want to do, you can here upload up to max 20 files with size of 5, 12 megabyte. And this is the third category of capabilities you can have with Assistant. Now, when I create these, how can I call them through Autogen? Because in Autogen, I have more comprehensive multi-agent framework. And these assistants can be one of my agents there to be complemented with other agents that I have in Autogen. So that's the point of what we're going to discuss today. And let me go through the notebook example that I have here. You just need a Python environment to run this. And I will add the source code that I'm running right now on Discord channel on the reference section. So the Discord channel link is in the video description below. You go to the Discord channel, there's a reference section on the left side. You can open that up and you will see the link to this notebook. So firstly, of course, you need to have Autogen and OpenAI installed. And as we talked about, what is the benefit of GPT Assistant? We just talked about that, right? You can have code interpreter, file search. You can have the conversation management for you. You need to care about the flow of the conversation, keeping the history of the chat and stuff. And of course, you can access to the files and do other things like generating images, so on and so forth. So first, we need to create an Autogen agent using OpenAI Assistant. 
obviously again as i assume you know what is origin in origin a way to create an agent was the user proxy and we're telling that this is an agent that doesn't need human input right so i'm not going to go over this again but this is something we discussed this is how we define an agent autogen and obviously i need to connect to my azure open ai so i remove my api key and base wallet since these are credentials but you need to add these two plus your model name tell this is azure and your api version that's it this is now i'm going to define an assistant through autogen so i'm saying that hey i'm going to create an assistant with no configuration yet so make it basic and this is what this agent is supposed to do with this given name i ran this code and check what happened i came to assistant uh, in azure open ai i opened the list of assistant i saw that oh with the same name and same instructions i defined in the code it got automatically created for me i can select it and chat with it so if i go back here i can now initiate this assistant through autogen user proxy and look at that i'm talking to my gpt assistant from autogen user proxy that i defined and i told that tell me joke and it worked so this is just a very simple gpt assistant with no configuration it was empty but check i told you that you can also have your GPT assistant to let's say run a code because you have now code interpreter enabled in your assistant config. And again, the same thing, I want to create an assistant. This time I'm saying that you are an assistant that can run Python code. And when I came to my assistant here, open that up, it got created for me. You are a code assistant to run Python code. And when I ran this question, run a multi-hall problem simulation 10,000 times, this is a question that needs a Python code to get executed. And it ran the code and gave me the answer. This is not just an LLM answer. This is the result of a code ran and gave to the LLM. And here's the response because of this code interpreter that I told you about. Using files, I'm going to now check this one. Files, OK? Again, using Autogen. So I'm going to download two files. One of them was PDF. One of them was Excel sheet. I download that from the source code. And again, configuring what is my Azure OpenAI config. And I connect to my Azure OpenAI. And then I uploaded that Excel sheet I told you to my assistant. And I enabled Code Interpreter because I'm going to run some code over this Excel sheet. And then I'm going to create a new assistant telling that you are an assistant that run Python code. What are the columns in the expert sheet? What are the columns in the Excel uh, spreadsheet uploaded? So I asked this question. Actually, look at that in my OpenAI assistant. It gave me the answer and captured the column names that are available in Excel sheet. I didn't do anything in Azure OpenAI. I just add them all in GPT integration with Autogen. With file search, that's a new thing. Now you can also do vector search with GPT assistance, uh, similar to Rack that we have discussed a lot about it. So you again connect your o to your Azure OpenAI. You give it a name to your vector store for indexing stuff and chunking everything gonna happen automatically for you. you don't need to do anything and i just uploaded the pdf i have uploaded that online and it's on my local path in google collab that i'm running this code and then just technically saying that i'm gonna create an assistant this time it's a retrieval assistant and then i just ask does contos of benefits cover dental care that's just a question from this pdf file it not only brought the chunks that it used but also it directly gave me the answer so and the last one, before you wrap up, we talked about another thing called function calling, right? That you can trigger some functions with this assistant. And here I'm going to tell that I have a function called weather that it will get the weather data from an API. But here for making it simple, let's simulate the response. Always it's going to give me location name, temperature, and partly cloudy. Technically, this is going to be an API call. But for now, let's keep it simple. Then, again, the same thing. I'm going to create a GPT assistant with telling that this is the API schema. This time, my assistant concludes some schema coming from this weather function. And then I'm going to tell that you are a weather assistant to call this function. And then I ask a question from this function, which gave me the response back from this simulated result that we got on the top. And I wanted to make sure this is created in my Azure Open. I click on Open. I saw that, yeah, function calling there. You are a weather assistant. If I open that up, and maybe let's ask in the same question. Let me clear the chat here. And let me ask, there you go. What's the weather like in Redmond, Washington? Let me copy. Sorry, I need to use Control C. Going back to my playground. Sit here and let's run it. 
there you go it understood that it need to call get weather data and it perfectly understood that it needs to trigger this current weather data and get the response back and when I submitted that input because it's a simulated one it gave me the same answer okay so that was all about this session and again I hope you understood the fact or the value of GPT integration or assistance with Autogen and again if you don't know exactly what is Autogen you might question that okay what's the proposed value of that or it's not clear yet but if you know Autogen now you understand that any opening assistance you have created can be integrated with Autogen because in assistance we talked about functions, code interpreters, and files. But you might have agents that does beyond than this in your Autogen. Now you can add these three as another type of agent to your Autogen framework. That's all about this integration, which is new in Azure OpenAI. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked, I would be very thankful if you click on the like button and leave your comments below. Thank you. You have no idea what you are capable of. Make up your mind today and you'll figure it out. Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video.